What is up, Base Lake? How you guys doing? Welcome back to another video. As you guys can tell, I am currently at a hotel. At the hotel. All right, guys. So, uh, hope you guys are doing well. Yeah, um, this has been a pretty crazy week. Um, I just came back from uh, from Cologne, Germany, uh, the other day. I was gonna make a video. Stop fucking lying. Always lying to me. Why? found myself extremely under the weather. I kind of got sick over there. Um, so yeah, definitely we landed, um, got in around 4 a.m. in the morning and I just felt, I felt like I was getting sick, felt like something was coming on. So went straight to the hotel and I basically just crashed out and slept the entire time we were there no walking around no hanging out with the crew i literally just slept and then 36 hours later once we left uh yeah i finally felt a little bit better and then uh a few days go by and here i am right now and i feel much better so uh yeah i don't know what that was though but definitely was planning on making a, a video um showing you guys cologne showing you guys the layover but unfortunately, yeah, it didn't happen. So I do apologize. But um, right now, I want to make a video talking about interviews, interview prep, and how to get ready or how to prepare or what to expect in an interview. So if you guys wanna stay tuned, if you guys are coming up with an interview shortly, you guys are having an interview coming up soon, uh, stay tuned and we'll talk about it right now. All right guys, so for an interview, there are many different ways that you could prepare yourself for an interview. Um, and it all comes down to what kind of interview you are going to be taking. Are you gonna be taking a part 135, a 121, part 91, your local flight school? Um, so they all have their own slightly different um, ways of interviewing you but essentially it's all the same thing. So we're gonna talk about um, how I prepare myself for interviews and what I found helpful, what I don't find helpful, and what I've learned over the years. So let's get right into it. Um, so first off, the first thing you wanna do when you are applying to a job is you wanna make sure that you do not massively send out your resume to hundreds and hundreds of companies. There you go. Thank you, sir. There you go. You, sir. There you go. There you go. Um, because you know, when I say hundreds and hundreds, clearly I'm, I'm being sarcastic. Don't send it out to 15, 20 companies because most likely you're gonna get a call back from a lot of those companies, especially today in this job market we're in. Um, the other thing, right off the bat is don't apply to a job that you're not willing to take. You, you need a job. No, I don't want a job. Well, I know. <laughs> it's so much work. Um, I see a lot of people apply to jobs and, oh, I, I just want the interview prep or, oh, I just want the interview experience. I don't, I don't really want that job. I just want to see if they're going to call me. It's like, first off, you're wasting their time and you're wasting your time. So do not apply to jobs that you're that you're not willing to take, for sure, do not do that. Um, the interviewer knows that this is a practice interview for you. Um, you know it's a practice interview, so you don't really take it very serious. And, and the other reason why you don't want to apply to jobs that you really don't want is due to the fact that after the interview, say they give you the job, say they call you back in two weeks, they give you the job and you're like, yeah, thanks, but no thanks. And they're like, okay, sounds good. Well then say you get the job you want and then say within a, a year or so you get furloughed or whatever happens and your the job you actually wanted fell through. Now you can't go back to that company because now you interviewed, they gave you the job, you denied the job, and now 
essentially you're kind of you're out of two jobs because you can't go back to them and i know a lot of people personally that have applied to every single airline out there and they, they say they wanted to go to sky west sky west was their number one pick but then they would interview at piedmont uh endeavor psa um republic and mesa and they would they would get job offers at all these airlines and then immediately sky west would say you got the job and then they'll go to sky west and they'll tell everybody else no the problem with doing that though is that you're burning all those bridges so say something happened at sky west and you fell out of training or for some reason um your job at sky west fell through now you're gonna go back and say oh hey hey psa remember me can i have that job now you know you're gambling they, they might take you they might not take you um so definitely don't apply to jobs that you're not willing to take number one yeah so don't apply to jobs that you're not willing to take um number two when you're starting out, so you're going to your first regional or part 135, um, or even your, your flight school, you have to take it seriously. Even though everybody's so desperate for pilots, it does not mean that you're guaranteed that job. Um, I have a friend who is a pilot recruiter at one of the regionals, and he says one of the biggest turnoffs is when people come in there and they're they're not very prepared for the interview because they just, they're not taking it seriously because they're like, you're desperate, you're gonna hire me no matter what. Chances are they're not gonna hire you. And my friend says he denies a lot of people just because they're not taking it seriously. Um, if you go in there and you take the job seriously and you screw up a few things here and there, then yeah, you know, they're gonna be more lenient with you. But if you go in there with this attitude of like, you owe me this job, you need this, you need me more than I need you kind of attitude, um, you know, no, no, they don't. They got tons of people. You know, there's a pilot shortage though, but there's more people interviewing. You know, you're not the only one interviewing. So make sure you take the job seriously, serious um, when you go in for the job interview. And how do you do that? How do you take a job interview seriously? Well, first off, you have to know what job you're applying to. So you're applying to the regionals. You need to go and do some research on that company because they're going to ask you, why do you want to work for this company? And you need to come up with a an answer. And it needs to be geared towards their company. You can't just keep saying a generic answer. Oh, because uh, you guys are looking for pilots and I'm a pilot and uh, yeah, it's a great fit. No, <laughs> they don't want to hear that. You have to gear your answer towards them to them to their culture the reason i want to work for this company is because i was doing a lot of research and your guys's culture fits what i'm looking for you guys value family life you guys value safety you guys have great work rules blah 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 i value those your values are the same as my values and that's why I think I'd be a great fit. Um, by saying stuff like that, doing some research, figuring out exactly what their values are, and being able to regurgitate that during the interview and say, the reason I wanna work for your company is because you guys value safety. My value is safety. And this go on a, a tangent about that. Also, you guys value customer satisfaction. Personally, customer satisfaction and safety are my number my top priorities every day at work. They're gonna be like, wow, this guy's actually, he actually read our values. He actually did some homework and looked at our website and actually got prepared for this interview rather than the guy saying, so why do you wanna work here? I don't know, you guys are just, uh, I just, you got, your ad popped up on uh, Airline Pilot Central and I thought I'd apply. That guy's not gonna get the job though. So take the job seriously, take the job interview seriously research the company how do you research a company go to the company website google it um go to airline pilot central uh, read forms about the company um, ask friends that work there research 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 the company then when you go into the interview 
They're going to ask you, why do you want to work for us? You got to give them your spiel. What do you know about us? They're going to ask you questions. What do you know about our company? Uh, you guys fly airplanes? Like, you have to know things about them. You know, who, when they were, like, when did they start working? When did they, when was the company established? You know, who were the founding um, members? What are their values? Um, what airplanes do they fly? What destinations do they go to? You have to know something about the company. So do some research on the company. Yeah, guys, so basically, when you're going in for your first um, aviation interview, you have to do research. You have to set an example. And when you walk in there, you gotta show them that you've done your homework and that you wanna be here and that you want this job. So my advice, only apply to the jobs that you actually want. Also, research the company. Make sure you know about the company, know their value, know their culture, know what airplanes they fly, what destinations they go to, what bases they have. Also, come up with three questions, four questions that you were going to ask them. What do you say we interview you? Uh, all right, yes, that's a uh, sometimes useful exercise. Please put your hand up. Go ahead. How much money do you make a year before taxes? Okay, I'm actually not comfortable answering that. Come on! We're doing the interview now, not you. Because they, they might turn the table at the end of the interview and be like, so, uh, Kevin, you got any questions for us? Okay, here's a shot out of a cannon. Oprah, Barbara Walters, your wife. You gotta fuck one, marry one, kill one. Go! And you just say, uh, no. 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 It's not gonna look very good. Make sure you have a few questions. Turn it around. Ask them. So why would an individual pick this airline over that airline? You know, that's a fair question. Why should I come work for you guys when I could go work over there? Make them convince you that their airline is the best. You know, turn the tables. You're trying to convince uh, you, tr you're trying to convince them that you're the best. Make them convince th you that they're the best. So turn the tables. Number one, only apply to the jobs that you actually want. Make sure that you do research on the company. Make sure you show up prepared. You're dressed nice. You do research. You're taking the job seriously. Stupid. You're wearing tuxedos to a job that requires you to clean bathrooms. Also, make sure you have some questions to ask them at the end of the interview. Yeah, so when you guys are doing the regionals or part 135, it's kind of a low threat. It's, it's not too difficult. Once you start going up into the majors, United Delta, um, UPS, FedEx, that's when it gets more um, difficult and there's more um, screening. You have to do personality tests. You have to do math tests. You have to do, you have to go talk to a psychologist. There's more um, hoops you got to jump through. But hope this video helps you guys out. If you guys like this video, let me know. And uh, yeah, I'll catch you guys on the next one. Thanks for watching.